Is episode 22? 22. All right, guys. Well, since it's past Kareem's bedtime, I will be doing the <laughs> intro. It is 10 o'clock right now on a Tuesday. It's going up on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. And this is episode 22. Uh, as you can see, he's tired. A little tired. As you can see, his hair is gone. Yeah. Mom Living in an African household, man. That's what happens. <laughs> Mom wasn't feeling it. Mom wasn't feeling it. It's all good, though. Auntie dude wasn't feeling it. Nope. I'll, I'll, I'll make him used to it though, at some point, though. I ain't gonna get used to it, bro. You got to move out. They gotta move out? You got out? to get married. Oh, you got a little feather on you, huh? Wait, oh, thank you. Thank you. For trust. It's all about style here. Talking about style, you want to present... Oh, true. I was going to do this later, yeah, but we're going to do smooth, it now. That was just a smooth transition. So I was like, Actually, right. so I'm going to be giving away this hoodie, okay? This is, a, this is an exclusive hoodie. One and only. All right? There's none like this, okay? Let me show a full thing. Hold up. So we got we got the HOTR logo in the middle, and you got the band on the sleeve. Feel me? So I asked a couple people to see like, oh, do you actually? I wanted to see like, cause this doesn't fit me. It's, well, it's uh, too small, too big. It's too small. Too small. It's too small. Oh, yo, he went to weight room once. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just not fitting anything. This is it's a medium, but it fits like a small, I think. All right. So uh, doesn't fit me. So I decided I'm gonna give this away. So I asked a couple people like to see who actually wanted it. And I was surprised by the amount of people that- I know, people are super excited, interested. bro. So I decided I'm gonna do- People uh, like free shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We, no, but we need to give out Yo, when I, I went to Ben and Jerry's one summer. Yeah. You know, you know there's free cone day, right? I don't know. You know that? No. The first day that Ben and Jerry's is open, it's free cone day. The first day of the summer? Yeah, and I went to the one on Crescent, so it's okay. like popping. Okay. And like, bro, it's a free cone. Of just regular ice cream. Like literally, you just walk. There, no catch. Yeah, yeah, no catch. No catch. No, no, no. no, no. no, no catch. No cap. Nothing. No cap. Nothing. Damn. You just get a free cone. See, look how excited you are. Yeah. All these people were panicking, man. <laughs> you were like, they made no money that day. No, of course not. Like, yo, I was the one working, bro. And these people were just like, yo, I want my free cone, man. Yeah. yeah. The line would go around the block, and I'm That's just like, crazy. just for a free cone, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna stand an hour in a line. For a free ice cream cone. I won't go somewhere and pay Seriously? three dollars or four dollars. Yeah? It's been in Jeremy's. Yeah, bro. It's still not pay. Yo, you go to the grocery store, the tub is five dollars. Or six ninety nine. But it's free. Free cone? See that's what I mean? That's what I'm Yo, look, listen. That's why your people are flipping no, out. But listen, it's the summer. No, in that case, it's the summer, right? You're just chilling anyways. You can stay outside well, a little I'm longer. Not, You're gonna, obviously gonna be there with some friends and I stuff. I thought I was gonna make a What's point that? of it. This is nah. like, going against my point. My point your was, point is people like free stuff. Apparently, right? yeah, you're freaking out. So we're giving away a free hoodie, all right? And uh, I'm going to convince Russ to make more of these, though, because I really think they're fire. Yeah? I, I really think they're fire. So we need to work so on that. So far, you don't even want to wear it. Huh? So far, you don't even want to wear it. Too small. All right. So it's unfortunate that I can't wear it. But, uh, so yeah. So I'm going to be... Actually, I'm going to be giving... All the details to win this at the end of the episode. So you make sure you listen. Oh. Tell them just get that I know they're gonna do that. Oh, we're gonna do it somewhere random now. Facts. Okay, you won't even know. You won't even know. You won't even know. Minute 27? Maybe. You won't even know. Minute 37? Maybe. I might do it now. We're gonna do it now. Or I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I don't know. We're just. Alright, so we're going. We had a bunch of cookies. So oh, yeah. That's it's gonna be a lit episode. So, so we ready? Yeah, we're we ready. ready? Yeah, yeah. Dive Episode twenty-two. I didn't forget this time. Yeah, because you're tired. You're trying to wrap this shit up. <laughs> like, wrap it up. All right. Uh, so, so let's uh, just dive into this, bro. What happened this weekend? Well, D two provincials. D two provincials. We did re regionals last week. Yeah, yeah. But same thing. Ditto. Heritage, best D two team in the, in the province. Undefeated. Undefeated season. Undefeated. Regional champs. Regional champs. Provincial champs. That's crazy. That's a crazy season. And you beat every other top team. Everybody. Cause they're they're in the did one B. Did they play Unsick? Huh? Did they play Unsick? Did they play Unsick? I don't. I don't think, I don't so. think so. I don't think so. No, no. But anyways, they beat Momo, which is tough in overtime. Beat Berbef. They just ran through everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just heard they won by like twenty every game. Like, yeah. Even like a, and coming again, coming from the the B B division. But I knew they were gonna win, bro. Because I, oh, yeah? I was editing the game, mm -hmm. the regional final yeah. versus Brebeuf. Okay. After the game, this is after they won. Mm -hmm. Like, that kid 
Devin, mm-hmm. Devon, is Devin. I don't have my phone. I can't even check. <laughs> but my bad if your name is. Anyways, <laughs> the guy we didn't mix up today, but he uh, yeah. he was just like, yo, he's like, they don't respect us. Like we're underrated. We're underrated. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. After winning, so I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. these guys are angry. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like anger can be bad at some point, but anger can be good. They're playing with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, yeah they were playing yeah. with a chip on their shoulder the whole time. Mm-hmm. They came in there ready to. So you automatically, you already have the edge over everybody. For sure. You just want it more. Yeah, me so. So shout out Heritage. So shout out Heritage. Shout out Gat No. Gat to know. Gat to know. Gat to know. Gat to know. Nice. Gat to know. And uh, shout out to the Saint Jean women. They yeah. won. They won the provincial. They also were undefeated. Undefeated too. Bro. God, man. This has been the season of undefeated Banyan. teams, bro. I want to see this trend continue. Yeah, right. We'll go. We'll go undefeated continue. next year just for you. Hmm? We'll go undefeated next year just for you. Yeah. Yeah. Shout right. out. Recycle. Recycle. Right. Recycle. Right. Recycle. Right. Recycle. Watch us lose our first game of the season. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, that was uh, that was CJ D two. CJ D two. I'm sorry we're running through that, but I didn't get a chance to edit the tape yet. Yeah, I wasn't and present for most of the. So yeah, so we want to just talk out of place if I want to see anything. But I like the team, bro. That team was nice. I like the point guard. They had a couple shooters. Mm-hmm. Big man was nice. Uh, Devin. <laughs> Devin was nice. <laughs> Little bully. I like that. And uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. So shout uh, out Heritage, and then, undefeated. Like we always say, like that's regardless. Saint John women. I don't want to like again. I'm just not educated enough, that's so I don't want to like say anything out of place. But that's amazing. Undefeated season. Shout yeah, out yeah, to Saint John, yeah. taking care of business. Like I, w- I wish I had more to add on that. But yeah, I, I just but I'm don't. sure you guys are nice too. Yeah. Like uh, I ain't, I'm not worried. About I can that. promise you this though. Next year, I'll be paying great attention to oh, Division Two basketball. Absolutely. Like, like, definitely. Honestly, there was no disrespect intended. It's just, you know, we're human and we've yeah, yeah, yeah. got an infinite amount of time. But, like, D2 is definitely. Uh, like, really, this season, all the teams really made me open my eyes. Like, even before then, I was like, okay, like, there's some talent here and then. But now yeah. I can see, like, it's a wider range of talent everywhere from men to women. Yeah, man, you can and just and, tell. Uh, sometimes, sometimes everybody's story is a little different. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that kid from Concordia, Adrian Armstrong, like. <laughs> one of the best shooters in Canada and like he came from D2 Dawson mm-hmm. like you know like so whatever your path is don't don't look at it as a negative you exactly know? Like, D2 doesn't equal trash yeah me. like right. shout like shout out to Jeremy Boucher from mm-hmm. yeah, 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 he yeah. got recruited for Division 1 I'm not going into details but unfortunately he had to play Division 2 well, not unfortunately just yeah, yeah, had, yeah that was his path but he took it in stride and improved and helped the ref win the bronze medal which is still a greater accomplishment, sure. you know? So, like, trust the process. Sure. That's what I'm trying to say. So, shout out to everybody in D2. We're going to be paying attention. And, uh, yeah, so, other than that, other news. March Madness. No, D2. bro. What? Bro. What? What? We got to talk about my son. What are you talking about? Well, he's not my son yet because we haven't got to who's, train. Who's your son? You're, you got a lot of sons. I know, man. Yo, pull out game of the week. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Mr. Nelson Cillier. Uh-huh. The HB. Ah, oh, true, true, true. Oh, my fault. Oh, my fault. My fault. I totally skipped over that. Yeah, I know. We my just, bad. No, no. Shout out. Because, I mean, we signed Mr. Nelson. He's coming to Brebeth, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm excited to get to work with him now that his season's done. Give him a little time. Let him celebrate. Yep. You know, I don't know if he has a girl or nothing. You know, he's doing his thing. Having fun. <laughs> Shout out HB for winning yeah. their provincial. Yeah, uh, high school championship. High school championship. Yeah. yeah. Beating uh, Express. Express. Which is tough. Tough. Bro. Very tough. Man. Tough, bro. They have that kid... Uh, Uncle, Uncle Drew. Yeah. Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew. Um, oh, that guy's cool. He's nice, bro. He unfollowed us, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Bro, don't be sensitive. Why do you Because I posted a little video of him maybe getting crossed. Maybe. Um. And then all of a sudden he didn't follow us. And then I posted a video of him actually doing nice shit right after. Yeah. Just because I was being nice. Uh, Come on, bro. Just give us a fallback. You know, it's all love. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to cross someone, we'll show it. Use a, a baller regardless. You're a baller. I didn't even know that. Yeah, he's nice, mm-hmm. bro. Cool. Cool. No, that's all right. I take these questions. It's all good. It's all good. But, uh, yeah. it's all, no, he's nice, bro. He's going to be a problem at Momo. Mm-hmm. He'll be nice, man. He'll be a problem for Momo. Averaging 30 plus in March. Yeah. He's nice. He's super nice. <laughs> like, he, he dropped 53 on Rebeth, bro. 52. 52, my bad. My Dude, bad. A 50 piece? <laughs> that's, the, that's nice, bro. That's nice, bro. That doesn't happen every day. Nah, bro. Like, only 50 piece... I scored 50 a couple times. Yeah? 
in high school. In high school? Ago. A long time ago. When I was young. Another 50 piece back in the day. Yo, you go to fucking in the States, mm-hmm. 50 nuggets, 10 bucks. Oh, yeah? Shout out to McDonald's in the States, keeping us. I think it's cheap. Everything's so cheap. Everything's cheap. But, uh, yeah, so he's nice. Nelson's coming to us. I'm excited. Yeah. He's a nice prospect. Uh, and I don't think anyone was expecting HB to win. No, no I, but I, I had Express winning him. I also thought Rush Bell was going to win. Yeah, they have. They have. Because Rush Bell had yeah. Cherry, the guy going to Banya. He's super nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I had Burbeth. Burbeth. Uh, Quebec. Quebec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that. Yeah, 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 that grown man, like mini Lugens. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. plays like him. No, he has this <laughs> oh, Lugens oh, game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just you not can the, see the real semblance there. Yeah. Just not the same size. It's kind of mm-hmm. like if you put Lugens in a dryer. Yeah, yeah okay. That's a good comparison. Shrinks a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, it's like the hoodie. Like the, I was about to say. It's, it's like, like, like the hoodie. hoodie. Yo, exactly the hoodie's legit, hoodie. just like. You know? But it's still fire. Like, yeah, this is a medium that fits like a small. Ah, okay. you know, because he's nice, but like, <laughs> <laughs> we go a little, a little wild there. But uh, I hope he speaks English because he's gonna be like, "What is this well, guy saying? Why does this guy keep saying my name?" <laughs> <laughs> when we play Burbeth Nation, we'll drop fifty. <laughs> But yeah, so that, so. Like, yeah, so I mean, the, the league, now after seeing the high school league, you can see how good the AAA league is going to be, or D, D1 league is going to be yeah. good next year, you know? I feel like the talent Baggy just... has so. Cherry and yeah, Dennis yeah. coming, uh, Uncle Drew at Momo, we get Nelson. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe it's just me being around just like the, the league more and more and more, but like, the talent has been increasing. Yeah, well, the thing is, Montreal's Tell me always, if I'm wrong, Montreal's right. always had talent, bro. Mm-hmm. It just didn't, didn't always get the chance to show it. Yeah, yeah. There wasn't the visibility. Yeah, 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 man. There's so many nice ballers out there, man. Mm-hmm. I used to, I played with a lot of them. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of good players. Like, you were there tonight at some runs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They had a, they had a scrimmage up in uh, Brebeuf you know, right before we came here. Yeah, these, these guys were balling. Yeah, man, it's fun, man. You that got, was fun. I mean, Adam played D1. Mm-hmm. We had uh, Joseph was there. Joseph Chartouni from Marquette. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, Pat Steves. He played at Harvard and George Washington. You know, there's a lot of good players. That man. was an entertaining. R- R- Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo too. Yeah, yeah. Ricardo Monge, MVP Rico of. Suave. Yeah, Rico Suave, the MVP of the league. Mm-hmm. You know, like Seb. And your guys went hard. Too. Our guys were playing hard. Yeah. You know, it's fun, man. That's that was an entertaining game to watch. You know? Man, I legit wish I had the camera with me. That would like, be fun. Was, yeah, that would be really cool. cool. But yeah, maybe one day. That was a, a cool, cool little moment. Yeah, but uh, so I'm just saying there's talent everywhere. Like, you didn't know who Pat Steves was. No. And Pat Steves is played at Burbeth and yeah, uh, yeah. played at Burbeth High School and then played at Harvard, Harvard. and George Washington. That's that's a talent. You know? You look at Adam the Schmoleski. The, he, oh, he was more He looks like, a, like nothing. He had a nice little mid range in your face, too. I know. But, I had but he came back with the three. He came, came back with the three. three. He came back with the three. Come back with <laughs> a little deep one, you know? A little talking. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little talking. But, uh, no, but these guys are nice, man. Yeah, and it's I'm, fun. Like, I'm, I'm, just ha- I'm, ha- I'm legit happy to be around this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why, this basketball that's, community. I mean, that's why we started this, man. Because I have so many friends. Like, Sage. Sage was yep. super nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's a barber now. But, like, mm-hmm. back then, if we had some tape of him, you'd be like, oh, man, Sage was nice. Yeah, yeah, Even one of his other barbers slipping names right now. But, like, he was nice, too. Oh, yeah? But at Banye. He was good. There's a lot of players, man. A that's lot, dope. a lot of players. And it's, it's great that people are getting the chance to, to now, see, see it. See, that's what we're trying to do. So, like, any support um, in any manner is always appreciated. So, oh, it's always. Yeah, that's why we try to do kind of little things. We give those those tickets to the Harlem Go Cars. We give this stuff. So, like, yeah, bro, no, one th- yeah, no one was able to take the tickets, but it's all good. That's not something we wanted to expose, Russell. <laughs> but you know what you can take? This hoodie. Goddamn hoodie. All right. All right, you can still take the tickets. They're worth so nothing, but we'll this, get this, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. So, on our most recent post, okay, all you have to do is like the post, follow H O T R Apparel, and Paul and Rice Power. That's for the story. Okay. You're going to do those two things. Stop zooming in, dog. <laughs> He's filming right now. So, you're going to do, you're going to like the picture. I'm gonna follow Fallen Rise Pod and at HOTR Repair. And you're gonna tag three people. And no, I wasn't paying attention, but I like the instructions. I'll watch the podcast. Yeah, okay. No, stop filming me. <laughs> so this one, we're gonna do that. Not this camera, the other camera. And next episode. Does that seem like a good good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's next, a good time our next episode, we're gonna announce the winner. Perfect. 
So that's that. Did you wash that? Hmm? Did you wash it? You better wash it. Uh, there's a little stain. I gotta wash it. Yeah, you better so wash good. that. Jesus so Christ, good. man. Yeah, I wore this only once, though. Yeah, but you're dirty, man. You look dirty. Why are you smile at the camera like that? That's even dirtier. That makes you look more dirty. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk. Am I talking normally? I feel like huh? my nose is stuffed. Because I have a tiny nose, so like, if I got a little bit of mucus, it's like... Talking fine. Talking fine? I feel like it's always the same tone. All right, cool. To me, at least. All right. Y'all tell me. I talk to you. I talk to you more than anybody else. So. Do you? Oh no. No, that's all right. It's one little kiwi we talk about. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's go to kiwi. Oh, so to kiwi. Shout out that's to kiwi. Cool. Shout out kiwi. Shout out kiwi. Yeah, she's um, she's doing well. She's doing good. Yeah. yeah. Right. She's going back to band. Oh yeah. About a month and a half. For sure, for sure. Yeah, officially, yeah. Okay, okay. So deporting the kiwi. <laughs> They'll put it in one of those boxes and just it's a little box it It's a little sad, but you know, like, yo, it's part of life. Oh, good. Make a little smoothie before she leaves. Ah. No, don't do that face. You're ah. so nasty. Ah. You're nasty, bro. My bad. Celibate life. My bad. Celibate life. All right, so now. Now we're diving into what? Now we're going to get into March Madness. March Madness. March Madness. And I'm going to let you really analyze it. I'm the pissed. Final game. I'm that pissed before. I'm pissed at everything. Bro. Why are you mad? I'm pissed at Auburn. Okay, this is one. Oh, thing. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is all I'm mad at. Auburn, Auburn, you got to understand one thing. Yep. Let the players decide the game. Okay. This coach Fair. overcoached. They're up three, and he's like, foul automatically. Yeah. Foul automatically to waste time. I'm like, you do not trust your team. You yeah. do not trust your players. Yeah, 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 And that's why they lost. You can talk about the foul. Okay, that's what I, was, was I thought that's what you were going to do. 100% a foul. 100% a foul. What, yo, he hit his legs. You can't you can't jump towards the one and hit their legs. I didn't, I didn't see a foul. I need, maybe I need to rewatch it. Yeah, you do. And educate well, I yourself. I didn't see a foul. That's not even a discussion, bro. That was I a, didn't see a foul. That's a flagrant foul. I like, thought that was a bad call. No, that's... Okay. But then, then again, maybe... You can't hit someone's legs. As a shooter... You have to be able to lift and be able to land without anybody bothering Because I don't remember seeing that. He hit his side of his legs. Up top, he was fine. It was his body hit him. Okay. But regardless, you, you, put, you put them in a position where the other team was set. And like, I was super mad at the coach because I was like, mm -hmm. the guy legit, they fouled once, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then they do it again. He's going, goes behind the back, loses the ball, and then he just fouled him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like... Just let him shoot a half court shot. Mm -hmm. Let him shoot a deep three. Yeah. If he makes it, good for you, bro. You're mm -hmm. an amazing player. Yeah. But most likely he will not. But it's a twenty percent chance, mm -hmm. fifteen percent chance. So you're mad at the coach for not yeah, trusting the coach, his players. Auburn's is, yeah. Okay. It's and always it's no matter yeah. what. Now when I was a player, I was always mad at coaches over controlling like coaches that always call the plays, yeah. coaches that are calling timeouts every two minutes. Because it is the players that decide the game at the end. They're the ones it's on the all about the players, bro. The coaching happens during practice. Mm -hmm. You teach them during practice. During games, it's got to be trust. That's very true. You know, and if you don't trust a player, don't play him. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But like, if you you can't put if you put a guy out there, you got to trust what he's able to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to trust that and let him be who he is. You can teach guys and stuff, but that was really frustrating because I wanted Auburn to win because mm -hmm. I wanted Charles Barkley to be happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the final was good. Um, it was a good game. Texas Tech had it. Um, again, see, this is where you let the players decide. Yeah. And the player made a mistake, which is fine. What are you talking about specifically? So Virginia's down three. Yeah. Uh, the guy, the guard from Virginia, drives Jerome for a layup, but you're up three. Mm -hmm. They completely help. And he just kicks it out for a three. Oh, is he talking about the open, the open thing? Okay. To tie the game. But, I mean, you let that guy do the layup. Mm -hmm. You're up three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're up three. That was just three. bad defense on that position yeah. right there. Now, yeah, yeah. and I'm sure in the timeout, the coach, the coaches, everybody, you got to be saying, like, no threes. Like, that's the one thing you're trying not Definitely. to give up. Because yeah, yeah. even if they score a layup, then they got to foul you, then you make two free throws, mm -hmm. and then they have to bring it up full court again, and now they're shooting a half-court shot. I was really frustrated, bro. I mean, why? No, that's a great shot. That's just. Yeah, yeah. But I prefer that than what happened on Saturday. 
I prefer the player yeah, to sign. Yeah. Now it's the player's fault. Mm -hmm. You're dumb. You went and helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you should have. Now it's the player's fault. They decided they lost their championship. Yeah, yeah. But the Auburn, the Auburn kids were doing what the coach said. The coach it's said, like, yeah. yo, at one point you gotta let the kids. You gotta let the players decide. You know, like if I'm like anybody, if anybody goes like, hey, you're up three with 10 seconds left. Do you take that possession? I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll take it 100, 100 times I'll take that. And it's like, now I tell my team, no threes. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. And Auburn was up two, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're up two. Why are you fouling? That's Just because you have fouls to give. You're up yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Trust your defense. Exactly. All right, Lord. I get what you're saying. Sorry, I've been, I've been angry. That's from the coach's days. perspective. That's why I let him talk. That's from the angry, coach's man. perspective. Yo, anyways, any, all coaches understand this. It's about the players. <laughs> your time's done. Like, I miss playing. You saw me You saw me play today. I miss playing. I have so much fun playing. Yeah. But my time's done. It's about the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, let them decide their future and their stuff. You That's can guide right. them. You teach them. And you put them in the best position to, to decide the game. Even the Vanier Momo final. Mm -hmm. I felt like they did a great job. You know, like, you could have easily called a play or something. You gave the ball to your best player. No offense, Kareem Maine. Uh, Mane. Big. Kareem Mane. Uh, Kareem Mane, I think, is the most skilled player on the team. I think uh, Naginyu is the best player in a sense. He's, 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 cool, that's it. he's also very skilled. Yeah, it's yeah. just that Kareem May Mane is a... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mane is a uh, 6'5", so that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Naginyu, I just felt, was that player, that yeah, dude, you know? So you and he, want, he wanted it, too. He wanted, he wanted it, did it, his yeah. own show. Not to say that shot. others didn't, but... But then Momo also just let their team play. Blondo drove. Vanny made a mistake. They held strong side. Momo could have easily hit that, that corner that, three. Kick, wide open shot. Easy. Let the teams decide. Let the players decide. Yeah, yeah. Vanny went to their best player. He made a shot. Momo went to their best player. He created a shot. One guy made it. One guy missed it. Mm -hmm. It's a miss or make lead. Exactly. You know? And you know, even though win or lose, you know, like, you went out. Then what you had to do, and the players and you decided. Live, you live they, with the results. They decide exactly. You know, let's say Momo hits that three. I'm sure Vanny has told their players never help off strong side. He helped off strong side, mm -hmm. but he decided to do that, and it turned out to be okay. Yeah, thanks. So yeah, it's all about the players. Right? There you go. Let the players decide. That's the thing. That's how I think parenting should be too. Like, let your kids be kids. Let them learn their lessons. I find parents is ironic. Huh? The parents that control their kids the most. Mm -hmm. Are the kids that those kids come out weird as hell? Yeah, those yeah, kids yeah. would come like just because they need to be like yeah they get like let loose. like little animals and then they explode. Exactly, you know yeah, they yeah. get to university and they're like starting to do Molly and Adderall mm -hmm. and crack. You definitely still need to be there for the guidance. Yeah, you're yeah. guiding. You're just guiding. That's basically uh, you're basically it's like you're taking a blind person and you're just guiding them through. That's what you're doing. And eventually their vision expands. Mm -hmm. Eventually they can see and then you let them go. Pretty much. Yeah. That's yeah. a good. That's a good analogy. Man, I'm yeah, fuck, man. I'm in the mood, man. Feeling Shout good. out to cookies, man. You feel cookies, good today. Cookies just get me going. Man. <laughs> I need to eat more cookies, but I don't get fat. And my personality's not good enough to get girls, so I gotta stay in shape. Bro. You say the personality's not good enough to get girls? Nah, bro. I think my body gets girls more than my personality. I guess so. I guess so. Oh, Except actually, I'm hilarious, actually, I'm no, because you're a funny guy. But actually, like a girl, I showed my podcast and uh, had to do a presentation. Oh yeah. You use our podcast? Uh, it was that even, cursing? It wasn't. Huh? Oh, man. I no, but I didn't use the, the podcast. But oh, like, okay. Because I was doing an influences presentation. So I had to pr pr present, like, my influences. And the teacher was like, I oh. influence you? No, oh, no. No, no. I did it on, man. um. Myself. How am I having a it. blank? How am I having a blank? He's the GOAT. Jordan. No. Drake. No. Oh, Nardor. Nardor. You don't know Nardwar? You don't know Nardwar? He's that the a word? he's the greatest interviewer of all time. I promise you. What about Borat? Some okay, some would argue Borat, <laughs> but Nardwar <laughs> is on another level, bro. That's I'm good. telling you. Okay. Tell I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Show you show like legit, every artist that's interviewed are just shocked by how oh, much Cabby. he knows. No, Cab Cabby's a goat too. I like Nardwar better. I love Cabby. Cabby's terrible. Bro. I love Cabby. 
I love Cappy, but Nardwar, he's the goat. Anyway, so I did a, a presentation on him, and the teacher was like, okay, if he's your influence, like, I want to see that like in your work. It's like, all I can show right now is my podcast. And then the chick in my class, like, she came out, she came after the presentation. Oh, yeah? Who, who, who's the guy? Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you got a... Yeah, but she's too young, mother. bro. Too young. She's Dawson's age. She, she's 19, though. She's about to be 20. She's about to be. We'll tell her to call me when she's about to be 23. 23? Take tell her. Okay. That's your, that's your range. I'm trying. That's your Kiwi, range. Kiwi's 21, bro. A word? But she turned 22. Hey, you do you. Yeah, you, do you. you do you. So that's that. Um, what else? A uh, Baylor one for one for women. Baylor, yeah. I didn't get the chance They're to nice. watch uh, watch that final, but uh, nice. shout out Baylor. Yeah, it's weird, man, because UConn had it for like four or five years in a row, and now it's been a couple years yeah, and yeah, lost. Yeah. It's tough, man. It's tough to stay on top of the mountain. For sure. They're, they're gonna come, like they'll come back. They'll come, back. they'll come back for sure. Yeah. So that's that. I just wanted to give the shout out to the women. I feel like I gotta do it. Arizona yeah. women won the NIT. Shout out. So Dude, NIT is okay. the, the national invitational tournament. The yeah. NIT is where all the teams that don't make the March Madness go. Okay. Go. Arizona. Man came out with the NIT out of nowhere. Okay. Yo, just because Arizona won, man. Okay. Arizona's from Arizona. Okay. Have, have yeah, shout moment. out to the Wildcats. Have your moment. Uh, fantastic <laughs> moment. First uh, championship since. Uh, Long time, bro. Long time. 1997 was the last time the men won the March Madness. Yeah. And now because of the whole DeAndre Ayton scandal, we're not allowed to be in the tournament for a while, so. Tough. It's all good. Bro. It's all good. But yeah. But uh, Virginia won their first ever. First ever. ever bro, time. and they, you know, they're the team that lost last year in the first round. Yes, to the 16 team. Yeah, U- they're the U- only team ever. UM- UMBC. UMBC. And they were down 14 this year. That's, Yo, that's, that's a great tournament. That's a right? mental toughness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love mental toughness. That's like legit my biggest. Like that's the thing I admire the most of people. Yeah, people that are mentally good. tough. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, after after that loss, they were like, I don't, I don't remember. He exactly back. said like, oh, like, we'll be back, we'll be back here next year. Yeah, yeah. Did, like, did they? I don't actually know if they say that. Okay. I don't maybe, know. maybe I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Maybe. Uh, I think they were just. I'm thinking of another team, but um, they were just devastated, bro. Yeah. No one expected that. I didn't and know they were the who you overall was. number one seed. Exactly. You know how there's four number one yeah. seeds? They were the number overall four. number one seed. Best in the damn country. And then they lose. They lose. And then they come they back. They came back and win their first That's ad. wild. So you got it. Three close games. They could have lost all three. Easy. So you got to give them a shout out for that. But, uh, so, so that's that. Yeah, and, so let's uh, finish up. And now, and as the, we're finishing up, NBA. we're finishing up and the, the NBA season. That's what I just said, bro. The what? I said Spanish. Shout out. Yo, I fuck it. You know how racist the NBA is when they're like they're like they're Latin knights. Uh, Latin knights? They're just, just like Los Lakers. And they're like yeah. Los Raptors. Nueva York. Nueva well, at least that's at least they actually translated the word. But the ones <laughs> that are just like Los Lakers. <laughs> I'm like, yo, at least hey, they, they, they try it. I guess. Trying. I guess. They're trying. Anyway, so the season is coming to an end. The West teams the, the playoff seating isn't uh, set, but we know who the eight teams are going to be. Yeah, it's going to... Well, I mean, the, we know Golden State's number one. Number one. Throughout the West. They're going to be number one throughout the West. Milwaukee's the number one. one. throughout the playoffs. Throughout the playoffs. Throughout the playoffs. Which is good, because they'll need a win yeah. in the finals after they beat the Raptors. But, but they're not, though. But, but they're not. Oh, they might. But they're not. They might. But they're not. They might. I'm not sleeping, yeah, though. I'm going to have to look at the podcast. I don't even know how many bets I'm going to win this year. But you're, but you're not. I'm not sleeping on the books. Feel me? No, fear the deer, man. Fear the deer. I'm not fear no deer. Fear the deer. I'm straight. Bro. Fear the freak. I'm straight. The Greek freak. Greek freak. Uh, he's he's gonna go out. Oh yeah, yeah. This is like this is his year. He's gonna dunk on Kawhi. No. He'll dunk on Michael Walk. And and that's it. Kawhi. And that's it. At the same time. That's it. And this all. All three are just gonna. <laughs> Oh, dude, just go. Game winner. <laughs> Game seven. Imagine? That'd be crazy. It's a space jam. But yeah, I'm expecting Giannis to go go hard. But in the in the East, as we speak, we don't know the eight seed. The eight seed. It's between Detroit. It's between Detroit, Charlotte, and, and Miami. So hopefully it's Miami. 
I really, I hope it's Miami just, just to get Dwayne Wade for D Wade, just so but he can have. Then also like Charlotte. I, I really want Charlotte. Like if I had to Kemba. pick, exactly. Yeah. Kemba is one of those guys. I'm like, I really wish you weren't on that team, because you're too good for that team. Yeah, he's you know? so nice. Kemba is one of those guys. I so hope he goes somewhere nice next year. I really hope so. Like Kemba should leave, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So I, re- I hope if I had to pick, I hope Charlotte goes in. Um, strictly just for Kemba. I want to see him do work in the playoffs. But um, you have any any predictions for the these playoffs? Who do you think? I think it's Warriors Bucks. Warriors Bucks in the finals. Who do you think is most likely to beat the the Warriors? Rockets. The Rockets. I don't think any other other team can even compete. Not even the Nuggets. Not even the Nuggets. Wow. No. Okay. But I think my Nuggets could beat the Rockets. <laughs> so you think the Nuggets can beat the Rockets? Matchups, man. Matchups are everything. Cause Cause I don't what the Warriors do, what the what the Rockets do is basically they just pick on Steph Curry. Yeah. Okay. And they're the one team that can do it. Mm-hmm. Because they switch, they have to switch everything. Yeah. Then he has to guard James Harden. And then James Harden does what he does. But at the same time, the Rockets' offense is so predictable. Yeah, but it's still ISO. They're inside or they're shooting the three. Yeah, the only, the only, they'll go as far as James Harden takes them. That's yeah. the only thing. If and he's he off, he always the chokes Rockets. in the playoffs. So Rockets are not gonna beat them. So That's his win. Warriors true. winning again. I got Warriors winning. I don't think there's no you think real the debate. But so you have Raptors in the finals. I got Raptors and Warriors in the finals. I got Warriors winning it. Bro. Four z- four deep. Up? Four up? Nah. You're four one. Four one? Four one. Raptors one game? We're getting one at home. Uh, We're getting one at home. After, are you going to go to a game? Huh? you going to go to a game? Shoot. Yo, the, them tickets prices. Yo, if y'all bought my, my little, my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all you bought go. my paycheck, maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll go. Maybe, bro. Maybe. But the prices are legit stupid. Yeah, huh? Just sell a kidney, bro. I think the kidneys go for like two grand, <laughs> man. Might as well. It's a good like, trade off. Yo, you don't need two kidneys, anyways, man. They're overrated. <laughs> overrated. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. You don't even need two kidneys. I'm kind of curious. I wonder why God gave us two kidneys. He's like, we don't need two. It's just a backup. I guess. We got a spare tire? Pretty much, yeah. Did he, did he think that we like drink alcohol? Is that why? I know you don't. Oh no, that's the liver. Liver goes in alcohol. Man, I'm dumb. I don't. I, I I seriously don't. I'm not gonna talk about this stuff. Today. I don't. I don't know why we have most stuff in our body. Yeah, neither do I, man. Anyways, going back to the, the playoffs, the East is a little, a little shaky too. Though. Do you think? Do you have? Cause Oh, you mean upsets? I think I think there's a possible upset. The upset I see is Pacers. The Pacers. I was I gonna say the Nets. Ooh, I was gonna say the Nets because I'm looking at them. I think the Nets could beat Boston. Is Boston second or third? Boston is. Let's ask Russell. Fourth. Boston is fourth. Can you check out the standings in the East, please? I think it's Bucks one, Toronto two. Philly three. Um, Philly's ahead of Boston. I think so. Are then Boston Pacers? But I think it would be Boston Pacers. Boston. Oh, yo. unless Pacers. Because I know Pacers dropped. Because if it's six, Boston's fourth. Boston's fourth. Boston's fourth. Who's fifth? So Philly's three. And uh, Brooklyn is six. Brooklyn six. Yeah. Who's seven? Orlando and then Detroit, slapped. but that could that could change. Oh yeah, the the seven eight, cause yeah. cause uh, he said D- Detroit, Detroit is at, at seven. No, Charlotte. No, Orlando. Oh oh my bad. Okay, Orlando is. Orlando's in. Oh true, Orlando's in. Okay, so it's from eight to ten then is battling for that last spot. Okay, so it would be. Well, either team would play the Bucks. I think Pacers can beat Celtics. I think they can you really beat see that happen. And I, I, can, I, I can even see Brooklyn beating Sixers, man. I don't trust the Sixers. You don't trust them? Don't trust them. I think I trust the Celtics more than I do Philly. Yeah. 
Well, the thing is, Philly has some experience. He actually made it to the conference finals last year. Oh, I'm sure they were awesome. semifinals. Yeah, they, they, went seven. Six, they lost to they lost to the Celtics. Seven games. Seven games. Yeah. Uh, was it seven? Seven or six? Okay. Last year, but Bo- yeah, Boston made it to the conference finals. Okay. But yeah, I have Pacers. Yeah. Like if I want, maybe I might even put a little bet on that, like yeah. on bet three six five. Yeah. Just I'll see what the odds are. Mm-hmm. If the odds. Why do you have the Pacers beating? Being the Celtics. Celtics are weak, man. I don't believe in Kyrie. I don't think he's a leader. Their their season's been so up and down. Sure. Pacers are well coached. Free. But I think playoff like if, time. If, if that Ola Depot, I'd probably have it in like. Yeah, that would be different. Six games. That would be a, a very different uh, conversation. But, but I think even not without him, him, I think they could still win. I think they'll make this series interesting, but I, I think Boston, at least, I, well, I don't hope so, but I think that. Come playoff time is when they're going to turn it around. Yeah. Because okay, I'm not going to compare them to the Warriors, no, but it, I can I'll compare them in switch. the in the fact that again, Warriors is different because they they're a championship team already. But and they've had ups and downs throughout the whole season. Come playoff time, all that's brushed to the side, and they're focused on one objective. And I think Boston, although they're not a championship team, I think the players have that same mentality. Whether that be That's Kyrie, fair. who's already That's a fair. champion, and, and the guys who made it far away. Yeah, yeah Brad Stevens is a great coach. Brad Stevens is a great coach. I can see, like, I wouldn't be shocked yeah, yeah, yeah. if Boston maybe made it to the conference finals. Mm-hmm. But I also wouldn't be, like, completely shocked if they lose in the first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I yeah, Pacers, Pacers is definitely a, a, a sleeper team. But I think the way Brooklyn has been playing, yeah. I don't. Like, legit, I did it because at one point. Yeah, <laughs> at one point, at one point they were a seven seed, and I kept telling everybody, I don't want the Raptors. If there's one team I don't want to see, it's the Nets. No, nah, stop it. I don't want to see. I, I, I figured we'd win, they're, but they're, they're nice, but they're nice, but that's it's their first. It's their first go around in a minute. It's the first time for a lot of those yeah, players. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So and who knows? Maybe D'Lo's gonna go Snapchatting again. <laughs> Mess up the whole playoffs. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting him. To go off, I think he's ready with the season he's been. Let's hope. Let's hope. So. Let's hope. So. Let's hope. So. Uh, I mean, he used all his VC for tattoos, so let's hope there's some <laughs> clutchness in him. But yeah, I think we're good, bro. That's we're done. We're good. That's done. You're done. I'm done. I'm done. Is there is there something we didn't talk about? Uh, I feel nah, like man. we kind of went over. Oh no no no. Okay, there's one thing I wanted to go over. Tasha. Season is coming to an end. What season? NBA season. Yeah, yeah. And that's when the award selections are going to be done. Yeah. There's been a lot of debates for a lot of awards. Yeah. So I want to take this time to, for us to make our predictions. All right. Okay? All right. We're going to start with Coach of the Year. Coach Who's your of, coach of the, the year? year. Mike Malone. Mike Malone? Of the Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets? My boy Jokic. Who would it be two? Two... Yeah, you gotta give it to uh, Budenholzer. Budenholzer at the Bucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think he's actually gonna win it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. best record in the league. First. Okay, year. you you would just want Mike Malone. I would like Mike. Malone. He deserves it too. They're like yeah, what, yeah. Second? Second. second, second, second. What do you think? Who do you think is gonna win? He's gonna Budenholzer. Budenholzer gonna win. Okay. How about you? I think I got Budenholzer too. This this one is so tough, but like I wanna. I want to give the edge to to, to the nurse. No, not not even Nick Nurse. Although I think he he is a a candidate. I want to give an edge to Nate McMillan. Facer. That's fair. That's right like a, a sentimental. Yeah, I like guess. But going uh, through what he had to go exactly. through. Exactly. But Pacers being the fifth seed obviously aren't gonna win it. But I think yeah, losing true. your best player and still being a playoff. Yeah, yeah team. true. But they also had a great yeah. record when he went down. Like it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So they dipped a bit, but still, mm-hmm. I so, understand your point. So there's that, and then Mike Malone did a great job with, with the Nuggets. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him credit. Like one All Star to do all that. It's wild. No, come on, give give Jamal Murray some credit. Man. I don't even know who that is. Bro. He played at night. You know exactly he's, he's who on that is. Nuggets? You know exactly who that is. Nuggets? Yes. Did he start? Yes. It's just an American hating. All right? That's all it is. 
don't that's know. all it is. He's an American and hating on the Canadian. That's all so it sure is. I had a conversation with MPH today and Hmm? I had a conversation with MPH. Oh yeah. Well, man, they're not gonna be happy if they know I don't like Jamal Murray. But uh, cause that's their boy. But uh, oh, there goes our. There goes our fault. There goes our chance. Sorry, MPH. <laughs> um, but uh, so yeah. That. So that's that's my topic. I think Moon is gonna okay. gonna win though. Next but one. you gotta give it to the best record. Yeah. In the league. But uh, not just that. They they're the best defensive team and they're like yeah. the second best offense. Like so the only team with the top two in both or something sure. like that. Some wild. But, uh, right. so, so that's my pick for question here. Now we got six man of the year. Is there really a conversation? Come on, here? man. Is there really a conversation? Come here? on. Come on. Lou. Lou. Sweet Lou. Lou. Sweet Lou. Lou will. Period. Yeah. I don't even know who else is a, is a contender. Do we even care? We don't care. We don't care. Lou will win this season. Lou is nice, has two girlfriends. Does what he does. Actually, okay, let me ask you real quick. Do you think Blue Wheels is a Hall of Famer? No? You don't think so? The Hall of Fame is so easy, so maybe he'll get in now, mm-hmm. but like, no. You don't think so? Okay. I'd, I'd give him a lot. I'm just, I'm just curious because I'm like. He's in the Hall of Fame of players. Like, player yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like basketball players, but as a player. Uh-huh. No, I think, I think. He, that's it. I think he's a Hall of Fame. Oh. I just, All right. Anyways, anyways. So then, now we have What's defensive player. Defense. Yeah, I want to get to that. Right? MIP. I want to get to that. Right? Uh, defensive player. Right? Oh man, that's a tough one, man. I wish I had the stats with me. Yeah. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, I, I believe Go- Gobert or. Gobert? Draymond's having a good year defensively. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't know who's gonna win it, bro. That that's kind of a tough one. I, I wish I had the stats in front of me. Yeah. Is Kawhi leading it? No, in Kawhi's played fifty games, bro. Get Not sure, he didn't play a lot. Okay, forget that. Um, Paul George needs some love for his defensive efforts. Yeah, I think that's fair because he's not gonna get MVP. He's not gonna get MVP. I didn't think he had such a good offensive season and an MVP caliber season that we kind of gloss over his defense. But he's been great. That's true. I'll give you that. Great. Give it to Paul. I don't, I don't see anyone else yeah. dominating. So. Like I mentioned Kawhi, but I was still going to give the edge to, to yeah. Paul George. Give it to PJ th- PG-13. PG-13. Defensive player of the year. All right. So, rookie. Rookie of the year. Luka. Luka? Luka. Luka. Like, anybody could talk about anything Luka. about Trey Young playing well, but Luka... Luka. Because all I have to say about that is that he has one name, bro. Once you start calling a, t- <laughs> a player by one name, one name. that's the dude. Luka. But I mean, LeBron, Kobe, D Wade. If you have a nice Jordan, if you have a nice nickname, yeah. Who, what's Trey Young? Ice Trey. Ice Trey is a nice name. Ice no tray. one calls him that. Everyone calls him Ice Trey. No, they call him Ice Trey when he's doing things. No one calls no one, when you're referring to him. No one goes like, oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 I see. Okay, Ice Trey. You know? Okay. Okay. So if you call me by your full name, you're not there yet. Oh, exactly. You're not there yet. You're not there. It's Jordan, Steph, Steph Clay, Clay, Draymond. Oh, we said KD. KD. That's just because that's what they call him. KD. His teammates call him KD. Yeah. yeah. No, no one calls Kevin. Uh-huh. Kawhi. Kawhi. You know what I mean? PG. PG. Russ. Russ. Harden. 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 Just Harden. You know what I mean? Okay. Jokic. Like, legit, if you told a casual, like, 15-year-old fan, you're like, James. Yeah. And they'll be like, who's, who's James? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, all LeBron. All LeBron, LeBron, yeah, yeah. LeBron, yeah. Zion. Zion. Already, he's not even in the league yet. Already. Zion. I never paid attention to that. Yeah, what I mean? Chad. Magic. Magic. Bird. Bird. Wilt. Wilt. Hakeem. Shaq. Shaq. You know? T-Mac. Yeah. T-Mac. Vince. AI. Huh. Oh, I never paid attention to there's, that. There's something about that, bro. Wow. Okay, that's, that's in one of them. All right. In so, his name's Luca. Luca. That's all. Everyone knows who it is. It's Luca. Just Luca. My stepbrother's name's Luca. Oh, yeah? yeah. Shout out Luca. But Shout I think Trey right. Young, like, he needs some love, but, like, no, he, he if, had a if, great you argue, if you argue Trey Young, my only thing that I have to say is that Luca has been doing it since the start. No, but Luca's also averages more points. Yeah, no, that, more that's rebounds, yeah, yeah. more assists. The only thing Trey Young has more than is steals. 
That's it. Ah, so that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Steals. And by, not by far either. Oh, by far. By far? Yeah. Luca's averaging like 5.6. Oh, Trey's got what? 7? Oh, yeah, 8. I thought like 7. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll give him a head there. But yeah, but Luca's been consistent the whole season. I think Trey Young really turned it on like. Yeah, the last two months. Late December, January ish, around that time period. I think that's when he really, really took No, but also like. He doesn't help his team win. That's true. Like, That's like, true. like Luca does. Like, yeah, yeah. Dallas is doo doo. Cat cat. Pure cat cat. Cat cat. Booty cheeks. You know, they trade Dennis Smith Jr. Yeah. DeAndre Jordan. And, mm-hmm. and you're still. Still, like, they were still kind of doing still the same. Brothers, right? They're still, like, winning stuff yeah, here yeah. and there. So. And you're in the West? I mean, yeah. Okay. So Luca, Luca's winning. Luca, Luca, Luca. Okay. Now got MIP. MIP. Do you still stand on Yeah, we got to give it to him. I, give it to I still stand on my pick. Pascal. Yeah, it's, it's Pascal. So Pascal. Like Skills. Spicy. It's spicy. Spicy P. Oh my spicy God. Spicy P. But, yo, D'Angelo, I'll give but man. He's, he's improved a lot as a leader, mm-hmm. as a exactly. player, but his stats haven't yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's his stats like, that haven't improved like, that they've much. They've improved a bit, but yeah, not yeah. like Pascal. Not like yeah. Pascal, exactly. So that's that's the difference there. So I think, has to. Because I think the fact that D'Lo had so much hype around him this season. And everyone wants to see, like... It's just because D'Lo is, is... One, he's in New York. True. Two, he's flashy. Yep. Two, he was a big name before. Yeah, yeah, Three, yeah. he was a big name. And he looks like that dude. Yeah, yeah, The tats, the hair, pretty boy, nice celebrations. Like, he, you'll see him more and like... Pascal Siakam is an ugly person. <laughs> Guy looks like... Like... I can't, terrible, I can't even bro. argue with that. Terrible. I and his headband, everything just the head, looks... The headband is bad. I'm not gonna Like, lie. everything just looks bad on him. Like, d everything looks fresh. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything looks fresh. Just everything he, he does... He was on looks... Slam Magazine. Yeah, it just know? looks so You smooth. see him everywhere on Bleacher yeah, Report, right. has highlights, everything. So that's why he gets that look, but Siakam's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, gives to Siakam. Like, Skills is on TSN. d on, like, Bleacher Report. Yeah. There's, no, levels. Like, there's levels. There's levels. There's levels. There's levels. But regardless, see, yeah, I can you probably get eighty times more girls than I do, <laughs> and you're six, eight, and nine. So like, no disrespect, but you know you're ugly. Like, don't even try to act like you're ugly. Hey, when you, hey, when you make money, you ain't that ugly. Yo, the more money you make, these girls become blind. I bro. swear, God, I, I swear, I'll never understand that. Rich and tall? That's all you. I'll need. never understand. Cause I'm looking at all these celebrities, and I'm like, Yo, you ugly. But all these girls are like, damn, I'm yeah, like, yeah. what? Yeah, no sense. Bro, Kiwi likes this guy named David. Do you know oh, David I thought you wrote this. No, 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 no. You know David Dobrik? Yeah, yeah, the YouTuber? Yeah. 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 I watch all this stuff. He's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. But me and her watch it together. She's a huge crush on him. I'm like, yo, he's ugly. And she's like, oh, no. But obviously, he lives in a freaking mansion. Yeah. Rides around his yeah. Tesla, looking fresh. He's not that nice, And then he though. makes all these little jokes. She's like, he's hilarious. I'm like, I'm three times funnier than him. <laughs> Legit three times funnier. But like, you find him funny because he's in a Tesla. He got, he got clout. That's it. No, he she doesn't want to admit nice. it. She doesn't want to admit it. But no, she knows. Well, no, she knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. Yeah, but... Uh, so, so now, last, one. last award. MVP. MVP. Freaky. Freaky. Like, the they try to give the James no. Freaky, greaky, greaky, no, freaky. bro, no. Best record in the league, better defense, Period. stats, dominating. Definitely. Like James Harden all across season, the board. It's like James Harden doesn't even help his team win like that. He's just he's scoring sixty to win by two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take James Harden off the Rockets. They're, they're a third seed in the West, bro. Bro, take the okay. Take James Harden. Giannis, off the Giannis is my take, pick, James but Harden they're not winning the, by a landslide. Take James Harden off the Rockets with a healthy Chris Paul. They're still a top five team in the West. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not healthy Chris Paul, where Chris Paul doesn't miss one. They're game. playoff team. They're not. They're not they're top five. Fifth seed. Fifth, fourth seed. Yeah. Six. No, no, no. Six, seven. No, no, no. Six, seven. Three, four, five. Six, seven. Three, four, five. Six, seven. Three, four, five. Chris Paul can't can't score like James Harden can. He can dominate like James Harden. Not. He's healthy. Offense, offensively. Look, Chris well, Paul does that. Chris Paul goes ends. down. Chris Paul goes down. Houston loses last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if Chris, James Harden Chris went Paul, down. Chris Paul was out. Won. Chris Paul was out most of the season too. Houston had a bunch of injuries. It was it was Harden and some other guys. Stop. And they were still balling, bro. Stop. Yeah, and, that's, that's, and regular, that's regular season basketball, bro. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, MV- MVP is a, is a regular season award. I understand that, but it's regular season match, so like, they'll get some wins there just out of, they beat the bad teams a lot. Yeah, we're, but if you're, if you're still putting up numbers, I'm going gi- to give you respect. Yeah, no, no, Jim Harden, great player. I'm going to give you respect. Griffin's MVP. Griffin's the MVP, definitely. And that's it? All across the board, he, he's out of I don't have the stats, but I think it's like 27, 27 12, 12, 5, 5. Like two blocks, two steals. He's, so. he's doing it on both ends. Best record in the league. The league. The league. league. The, we ain't talking about the Bucks. And who, who else does he have? Chris Middleton? Like, I know people want to, like, Brooke the, Lopez? The, people, the people I talk about, like, Brooke oh, Lopez? James Harden has no help, and, yes, and Giannis Capella. does. Come on. Chris. Gian, oh, my God. Like, y'all can't act like. Giannis has he's the best team around. No. You know? Eric Bledsoe. He has Middleton. Middleton's nice, but then they have and Bledsoe. The rest, they're, they're good players. Brooke Lopez, the guy that was caca on the Lakers. Yeah. He couldn't even fucking get a minute. That's what I'm saying. Like, the Bucks are playing nice, but no Giannis. They're nothing. It makes without. everything work. Exactly. They don't even know who to put on them, man. Exactly. You no, can't, other you teams can't don't stop. even know how to guard them. You can't stop. Because you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Think about this. He's yeah. averaging damn near 28 with no jump shot. Well, now he's hitting threes recently. Man. Yeah, he, he hit a three uh, against Philly. He hit a couple. He hit a couple. Yeah, he hit a couple. He hit a couple. He, hit a couple. he yeah, averaged 28 with no jump shot. <laughs> My bad. My bad. 70% inside the, in the paint, bro. He's just yamming it on you, bro. Yeah, no. You so cannot stop. Freak, 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 freak is winning. It's MVP. the man. But it's, it sucks, though, because, like, James Harden had such a good season, but he's not even going. And that's why I heard someone say that NBA should implement, uh, they should have the MVP award and the offensive player. Oh, the like best football? offensive player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that would be different. Because even if you take, if you take Russell nah, Westbrook, for example, nah. that's an award probably he should have won and someone else nah, but it's like, took the, nah, you're, not, you're not rocking with that? Cause Football does it because you only play one side of the ball, bro. Mm-hmm. Like they do offensive MP, defensive MP. Yeah. Because you only play one side of the ball. That's why you play both. Hey, you play both. And you play forty minutes a game. But maybe you just excel. Out. Yeah. So then you're not the MVP. Mm-hmm. No, not MVP, but you could be the Drops best. Mike. You could be the best. Yeah, don't make player. awards make people feel better. I know we're in that PC era of like everybody got to feel nice little trophy awards. Oh, and, like, well, I mean, it's just one more award that you could. Should add. We do a third place series as well. <laughs> for the the, the I player. The I, the I, the I player. You know? Like you average like nine points. You do like, yeah. The I. We should do the worst player in the league. And that player gets cut. <laughs> All the players vote. And you still give him player. an award. <laughs> you give him the award and he's out of the league. He's not allowed to come back. Hey, you, come, you go out on that. a good note. Huh? You go out on a good note. Yeah, you got the award of the worst player in the league. I wonder who that is. I wonder if there was like, you know how anywhere. Mm-hmm. Everyone thinks there's a, a bum player that shouldn't be there, and everyone's yeah. probably completely like, yo, what's going on with this guy here? Yeah. You know? But NBA is weird because everybody's freaks. Imagine, but, yeah, that would be disrespectful. If you give that to an NBA player, oh, like, like, bro. That'd be rough. Like, I grinded to come here, y'all get worst player of the year. And that's tough. That's tough. That's very tough. But yeah. So that's that. Okay. That's so, it. That's, that's our award prediction. That's our award predictions. Hopefully, we're right. We got to go because we're tired. What's what? up? Oh yeah, if anybody skipped to oh, the end, skip to the end, it's a shame. It's a shame. I announced the hoodie somewhere else in the episode. You don't even know where it is. Yeah. You gotta listen to the whole thing. All right? Guys, uh, let's try a little tradition. Shout out to our faithful followers, Mr. Chris Go Big, mm-hmm. Arad, shout out to Quincy from Momo and your boy. Yeah, shout out. He Quincy. said that he watches all the time. Uh, my sister. My sister will definitely watch. Shout out, us. mom. Shout out your mom, she'll watch this. Sorry about the hair. We tried something different. You know? I think she's messing with the. Did she like that? The curl hair. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, shout um, out, shout out, Auntie. Yeah, shout out. I haven't seen her in, in, in ten years. Oh yeah. In ten years. She's staying over here a couple months. She came. She came from. Months. Yeah. Cause she came from Africa. She finally got the visa. God damn. Yeah. Well, shout out, shout out, Canadian visas. Shout out, shout out, Canadian. A lot visas. easier than American visas. So we really appreciate that. Uh, what else we got? We got Close. shout out, shout out D two, shout out D two basketball D2 for players. showing out. Shout out high school basketball. Shout out, school shout basketball. out HB. Shout out, shout out Krispy Kreme for opening a uh, chain of Montreal. Open up one. We didn't, we need that sponsorship. 
I'm, I'm getting that sponsorship. No, we're gonna get fat, bro. Probably is. I'm cool. Yo, I'm cool with Krispy Kreme. Bro. You're cool getting fat. Aren't you? I'm cool with. You're that. gonna be one of those fat dudes in like ten I'm years. I'm cool with. I'm that. calling it right now. Yo, Kreme's fat in ten years. Ten years. Ten years. And, I wouldn't uh, even be mad. Huh? I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even be mad. Bro. I wouldn't be mad. Bro. But all right. Uh, anyways. So that's if you that. Want this hoodie. Let us know. Follow us. That's Shout that. out. Ah.